take away now. We cheat in a second, cause we all under pressure, my friend. So stand with me, it's a pride, huh? I reach your heart, you know, but do not make it stress, cause it's a baby better, not be living at the get up, be under the pressure, my friend. Yeah, Lord have mercy, this girl get no worse, I'll be calling. But mm-mm, all when the pressure erupt Me never give up, no, 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 me never give in I me a send up a prayer for the better living I can't fall, so I better be sick And so, under the pressure, under the pressure Yeah, under the pressure, under the pressure If your boy job is take away now We cheat in a second, cause we all under pressure, my friend Sometimes when you feel it, you cry down I reach your heart, you know, but you do not make it stress it Cause it's a baby better not be living at the get up be under the pressure, my friend You're not for be the one who beg the old man And nigga, so my friend in pumpkin farm Yeah, eh Are the lady where you hustle in the streets Just to give your baby something warm Because your pocket could have deep of a nice pretty vehicle And all kind of visa, so life should have sweet you But I could have teach you all time to the rich And this time and not something Under the pressure, under the pressure If your boy job is taken away now We cheat in a second car, we all under pressure, my friend Sometimes when you feel it, you cry down I reach your heart, you know, but you No make it stress you, cause it's a baby better Not be living at the get up, be under the pressure, my friend It's serious, a lot of times I find it serious Life is a little mysterious Stop with what and we can't even steer it up, oh no of performing if there's one thing i have learned is that as creatives we must find a way to cope and that the show must go on hi i am jody and johnson a third year bfa student doing a bachelor's in fine arts and i must say i am truly grateful to be a part of this production i have gained some great skills that I will be using in my future endeavors and also to improve on myself as an artist. Thank you. You think I like a bit of headset, my mommy papa. She said, put down that DJ thing there. I just your book, my boy, you take up, take up, take up. Cause every day you just a make beer nice, more while my boy, you shut up.
call you know say I feel you me do that song yeah now she's my biggest fan Hi, my name is Shanique Williams, a third year student at the Edmund College of the Visual and Performing Arts, undergoing a bachelor degree in fine arts or theatre. I am elated to be a part of this via Zoom 2021 production titled Real, directed by Doreen Reed, written by Tessa Edwards. I am woman five, just a regular woman, a woman within our everyday society, showing my craft, which is acting and my emotions of what or some of the socio-political effects that affect us today, hold us society oppressed. So I am woman five, and I hope that after this play, you'll be motivated to want to change and be a better person within society and for yourself. Thank you. Zoom. Streets of Jamaica coming live and direct. Proto diggy day and we no need no mic check. Stepping at the place, no bad that disrespect. Does I want to get a youth about the choice for them I make? Boo. Lordy Dordy, no join no party Look what the politician them do to Claudie Look what the politician them do to Jim Him son resurrect it and look what them do to him Cause they will use and dispose of you Those who are close to you If you choose to tread the road you know So brother brother if you are tonight Carry the scars of a coffee I carry the fire of a Melchizy Take when your mind get a chance Represent cause you might and no past it present so not take them last of your past, then resent you. Won't make it fast, so them last every cent too. So we go back to the ancient ways and told secrets that remained unchanged. Mentally get unchained. I want goal, I want aim, and the same what you're saying. Got to stay true to the things you know are right. Nothing worth the gain you attain by sudden flight. Brother, keep your goals in sight. True, true. Even in the darkest night. True, true. Have faith in the Father, the one who shines your light. I'm probably speak me now. Mercy me, them corrupt and covetous sneaker from me. I day a mini and one thing that he has say. The intellect a play up on the poor poverty. Nobody now dance to a two party. Oppression, brainwashing, and nefarious schemes. To keep the have nots where they think they are to be. I'm on your promises are better when the pole time close. Then I'm back to the same after we not announce. Rocks down a river, but I'm never announced. So, not. so many of me, brother, them trapping at the blind. Black full and shot, but no food in a pot, but what kind of liberty died? Higher and higher, all are straight up. Wake up, sons of Jacob. Lay down their arms, real tools if they take up. Stay up, wake up, sons of Jacob. Time to show the cowards what we made. Got to stay true to the things you know are right. Nothing worth the gain you attain by sudden flight. Sister, keep your goals in sight. Even in the dark. Zoom, the new place to have school, meetings, and now a production. My name is Nelta Shea Williams, and I'm a third year student of the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts. The process that I've been through with this production has been extraordinary. It has been fun, it has been educational, and it has been emotional. But most of all, it has given me the chance to live through technology and to express myself through technology. Yes, it has been challenging and it has been quite a process to adapt to this new idea and this new way of life. But nevertheless, it has been fun. It has been an experimental process. It has been new. It has been a lot of Wi-Fi problem and a lot of Wi-Fi issues. But at the end of the day, you realize that you, you, you get used to the idea of being on this app 24 seven, going through the challenges of connecting with Wi-Fi that you adapt to it and this new thing has become a norm. It has been something now, it is something now that is 
that is something you look forward to each morning you get up you know that you have to get up and you have to be on zoom for school you have to be on zoom for meetings and now every evening you have to be on zoom for a rehearsal production through the eyes of zoom what a wonderful thing what a new thing so innovative so creative and once again i must say the process has been fun it has been a very long process for me but it has also been fun it has taught me a lot and it has taught me a lot of lessons that i can use and that i can take once i leave edna to say that this is my approach and this is how i want to to look at life because now it's all about technology and we are bringing you this production through the eyes of technology through the eyes of zoom I am Tony Ann Fortner, a fourth year student of drama school, and I'll be playing Woman 4 in the play Rio by Doreen Reed. My process has been an interesting one, since doing theater online is a new learning experience and gives you the opportunity to visualize it differently. It makes you view it with an open mind and it helps you to make completely different choices to portray it with the right intentions to an audience. This play is consists of real life happenings in the world. Be sure to join us and enjoy real hello everyone my name is Amoy Dufus and I am a past student of the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts um, I would like to take this opportunity to say thanks to the director Miss Doreen Reed for affording me the opportunity in being a part of this process who thought in a million years that theater would be done on Zoom? Yes. Well, um, theater is life. And I think that it can be done anywhere. It can be done on a stage. It can be done in the streets. Oh, I have plenty of productions in my bathroom. So, um, I would like you guys to take the opportunity to experience theater in a different light as we bring to you this production called Real, as we uncover real life situations that we're facing in societies today. We'll be bringing forth to you poetry written by amazing artists and we will be expressing ourselves, expressing our feelings or emotions through this piece in theater, through Zoom. So thank you very much for sharing this experience with us, for being a part of this experience. And I hope that you enjoy it. And please invite your friends, tell them about it. Zoom, theater. Hey. My name is Jonathan McLaughlin, a third year BFA student at the Edna Mali College School of Drama. And doing this rehearsal and preparing for this production on Zoom has been a real exploration in the sense of us trying to find ways to reject the different complications and Zoom telling us we can't do. It's rough, but as creatives, we overcome challenges. But just like my other practical courses, the process was exciting and creates new sensitivity towards performing without the intimacy of my castmates. So I implore you guys, come out and enjoy the history that is being made. of your life and it tough now stay down mama time pick it up now bother with the down full style strictly up full vibes now pick it up when the bills them the rent and the mortgage due yeah yeah when my chalice when your best friends are gone and it's only you yeah like a past with turn up the music There's a melody, yeah For every trouble there's a harmony 
together So I make we sing together And who said life no order And every man Artists around Jamaica and the world, from community theater groups, award-winning veterans to BFA students like myself, have been forced to find new ways to create live theater. More often than not, this has meant producing work over online platforms such as Zoom. Hi, I'm Leighton Giles, a third-year BFA student at the Edna Manley College of Visual and Performing Arts. I was privileged this year to be working with the talented Ms. Doreen Reed, who took on the awesome task to do five gripping, thought-provoking monologues, works from great and extraordinary playwrights, directors, lecturers, actors, Mr. Owen Ellis and Tespa Edwards. Also, to have my namesake, Mr. Leighton Jones, with his magical genius of directing vocals and movement from Mr. Paul Newman, just some fine creatives and persons that I've never worked with, but the experience and process was epic. Although the new medium effectively skirts the ethical quicksand of live performances during a pandemic, adapting to the virtual playing space has presented me with new sets of challenges. My director, Ms. Reed, have been forced to teach me miles apart to simulate the intimacy of a face-to-face -face conversation. I have become my own personal cinematographer, sound designer, and tech crew, just to name a few of the production crew. Um, the rehearsal process for me isn't quite different than face-to-face, -face, and the director uh, makes this session makes the session um, just as exciting, though some may say that Zoom theater for all that it promises is hardly theater. Um, but but the the careful guidance of our director and and other master directors backstage, she's making that experience a once in a lifetime one. I'm eager to go forward in this dramaturgy work, but I find it hard to see beyond the loss of live theater. Right now, I'm still processing my own heartbreak for the loss on behalf of an entire industry. But as they say, the show must go on. Welcome to the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts School of Drama's third production for 2021 entitled Real. Please be reminded that your microphones and video cameras must be off for the duration of the production. If you feel the need to interact, we welcome and encourage you to do so in the chat. There should be absolutely no recording of any part of this production and be advised that the performances contain profanity, so viewer's discretion is advised. As this performance is taking place in the virtual space with all the actors in their own personal spaces, the production is susceptible to all the challenges that may occur regarding connectivity. For this, we crave your indulgence. You will get a good experience using your phones, but a much better experience can be had using your laptops or iPads, where you can see the performance in gallery view, full view. At this time, we ask you to take a minute to adjust your devices to gallery view so that you can have the full experience. Without further ado, Come, tune in and enjoy the presentation of our Zoom poetry collage, Real. Thank you for supporting Theatre in Jamaica and in the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts School of Drama. This was us.
then this happened. Then we looked like this. Now this is us. Not our preference, but in the words of our 2018 valedictorian, You find yourself struggling and demotivated. If you ever feel like you've lost your voice, Tony Morrison admonishes you, this is precisely the time when artists go to work. So here we are. The glitches, the freezes, the delays. Still we create. The struggle for the theater industry is real. Life is supposed to be this. It was this. But we have changed. This painful reality forces us to sing. Oh, Life is our music. Music is our life. It chronicles our real pain. It's our prescription, our medication, our anesthesia. This rhythm is the real soundtrack of our lives. Now, as you listen and watch this creation, choose what moves you. Because these stories are real. Too real. Real, real. Very real. We're burying now the woman who made us bleed and burn. We're burying now the woman who made us bleed and We're burying now the woman who made us bleed and burn. We're burying now the woman who made us bleed and burn. The deluge of rocks behind tear-drenched waterfalls. Waterfalls. Cataracts, clouding every look back on childhood. Childhood. And what I'll remember the most are her veins. Vulgar veins. That stand up and dance on her neck every time she tells me to kiss her power all right that clot. Who no stinking naughty careless woman? Where fuck me love and shake for gratis? How no teeth like a pervert pupa? Oh, quick it down, listen. Let's go, 
daily smother where you do it for. Me see you run your little son say don't come in ya. Kelly smother where you do it for. Me see you run your little son say don't come in ya. Kelly smother where you do it for. Me see you run your little son say don't come in ya. I'm going to kill you, you no know, blood clad. Bold vexation veins, violently vibrating, pulsating rage as she makes her head bob, rock, rotate to every ugly syllabic wrath. Kill his mother, what you do it for? Me see you run your little son, said, Oh, come in ya. Kill his mother, what you do it for? Me see you run your little son, say don't come in ya. Kill his mother, where you do it for? <laughs> me see you run your little son, say don't come in ya. Veins feeling caskets of glass. Curses. Suing shit, pipes bleeding, man. As we go on, direction, narrative. No blood clot. Kill his mother when you do it far. See your own your little son said, Don't come in ya. Kill his mother when you do it far. Me see you run your little son, say don't come in ya. Kill his mother, where you do it for? Me see you run your little son, say don't come in ya. I flame, lipping, jumping. Words rest behind her skin as her face turns towards me. It's beside him, every god in the devil damn dramatizing the recital of this grace. And stick to all this chalk slash head box till something broke. Lowers <laughs> rip up. Mouth boss our skin cut. <laughs> Cursing quietly through me, tracking tributaries of pain, nurturing hidden hurt, regating roots of deep planted shape. Don't speak ill of the dead, someone said. Yeah, talk of truth times 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 of my name. So I am marking that out of the eulogy and just burying my, my heart, heart with this woman, woman who made us bleed, 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 bleed and bond. Taking home I can catharsis. The large lump that never fully leaves my throat but almost always happens and trying in vain to erase the remaining memories, memories of her veins. Veins. memories of her veins. Kill his mother, where you do it for? Me see you run your little son, say don't come in ya. Kill his mother, where you do it for? Me see you run your little son, say don't come in ya. Kill his mother, where you do it for? Me see you run your little son, say don't come in ya. Jada, I jump in jail. Oh, clear, gym the records. For every youth out there, Javinci say, Why be a 
tears away Tell his father where you do it for Me see you run your leg a son so don't come in ya You could do manage a youth where you make she breathe for Now you want the youth around the sip and clean up Never know a few years after Me see your son not on the craft him to the doctor I see you know you're just a ready water talker And that's it See you cry. Make the wicked realize. I love you, Mr. Survivor. With the wire waist Watch your body there Yo, dog, look how that big Cock up, girl Show your talent and skill Red label wine You a turn on the trail Make a bus in a me head Like grenade But all when me talking Delayed me not left Y'all had a shot So me glad me come out Ready for left What you talking about Road me Me not want to see no host Me a rave and a wait And it's something come out Bubble girl a bubble, bubble girl a bubble, bubble them a bubble, bubble girl a bubble, bubble girl a bubble, bubble girl a bubble, bubble them a bubble. See you later. Bounce and wanna feel the girl them bubble pan. If you love to see the girl them a bubble. Wait, dance and juggling all night. Bop 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 bop, bubbling, bubble, bubble girl a bubble, bubble girl a bubble, bubble. When the lover come down for you, when the lover come down for you, girl come and me wine for you, girl come and me wine for you. She said she can't wait. She said the lover come down. She can't wait. She said the lover come down. <laughs> if I could have run, I would have run. Because I know it, bubble and jaw and white chalk. I know I can hardly walk a straight path. <laughs> Jump on bat. Me a walk foot. Me no driver. Should not worry about brutalizer. <laughs> so in the meantime, I go and resign to staggering against zinc fence to my one room tenement. Busting through the door. Three blue tights for floor. Love fire, ready for spark. Kick off desert clocks. Put on my boots of a different guy. Bullet, Bullet pro. pro. As the rain fall begin to pelt the zinc crew. Set in the atmosphere for the love dance. Like music will advance. Back it up, back it up, back it up, yeah. Against the wall. <laughs> Listening to the rain fall. Harder. Ooh. The harder oh. they come. Oh, no. The harder they oh. come. The harder they come, the harder they fall, one and all. Engulfed in ecstasy, happy she's next to me. <laughs> what? DJ Mexican, staggering all night. Staggering, that's how the girl on the most. Dagarin, oh, alarm, bring a little closer. Dagarin, in the morning. Dagarin time. Kicking in the evening. Dagarin time. Dagarin, Dagarin, Dagarin time. It's getting weak. Roof begins to leak. Cutting up the bed. That's when she said, This is a blessing from above. God consecrated our get alone.
wine and go down wine in a puff bone With a fatty ass let me and me know you must moan She hooked to the thing that leave me alone Night and day she a call off my phone ha, We press some down and shell it So she want to love it every day so she tell me Nervous break down girl can't stay steady So make sure you fit girl make sure you ready When come down for you When the lover come down for you Girl call me let me wine for you Girl call me let me wine for you When the lover come down for you When the lover come down for you Girl call me let me wine for you We jump in, 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 this is a top prize. Good man, This is a top prize. Jam pack ram jam dungeon. Look back to see our village burn. <laughs> Pay the price for the level sacrifice. We jam until the jam is through. We jam in. We jam in all the way from Al Kibulan. Through the doors of no return. Ram jam dungeon. Look. Back to see your village burn. The thing the charming was the thing of the past. The charming. Jamming all to you from all to the land. To the doors of no return. Ram jump, jump pack, dungeon. Look back to see our village burn. Oh, yeah. We jump in like sardines in a cannon at the bows of the slayer ship. Dancing to the rhythm of subjugation. Subjugation. And the meat of the whip. We jump in like theaters in a shock. Ah! Here are the kids! Welcome! Sweet are the victory. Hot the battle. We are the victory, hotter the battle. We are the victory, hotter the battle. We be a jerk sausage. They will jam into the middle passage. Final destination, Blackfeet, hot sun. Caribbean, victim of colonization. 
Caribbean, victim of colonization. Fire! Caribbean, victim of colonization. Caribbean, victim of colonization. Oh, no. No, As I stand to do the key and cutting jam, never forgetting who I am and how I come to this place. Real hard, hot sun, 96 degrees nice. in the shade. Real hard. Out of the huts of history, shame, I rise. Up from a past rooted in pain, I rise. A black ocean leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise. Into a daybreak miraculously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the hope and the dream of the slave. We jam in rain or shine. We jam with you. Rain or shine. We are not when I feel like I would lose my mind. We, we jam in. Jam in. Jam in. Jam in. Jam in. Music that we free as we dance to the Kente and the Kong Kong. One day, Jericho, one of the Tomb of Dung. Oh, yeah! Muffin Raga, Muffin Raga. Raga, Muffin Raga, Muffin Raga, Muffin Raga, We jam in like rockets, kumina and men too. Pop steady, scary, kimini jam, kuno. Like a dog, 
my god! Call the creeper for the meals, has the females let loose and puppy tail, jamming like a tourist on the beach. Jam like the sweet succulent nectar of a peach. As we shampoo, shampoo, shampoo. Never. 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 And a breath. Who is that? 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 Who is <laughs> the next time you see I a jam, it's green and gold, Tom. No! Rastafari. I remain. I just a try free eye frustration. Been jamming since I reached Shan. Free eye frustration. Free eye frustration. Jamming queen, the meditation and liberates the nation. Liberates. 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 Jamming, we jamming. Jamming, we jamming. This one is definitely for the history books. Let's hit the studios. <laughs> it's time. To record. Delilah. Delilah said to Samson, tell me the secret of your great strength and how you can be tied up and subdued. No razor has ever been used on my head, he said. 
If my head were shaved, my strength would leave me and I would become as weak as any other man. When Delilah saw that he told her everything, she sent word to the rulers of the Philippines. She put him to sleep in her lap, called someone to shave off his braids and so begun to subdue him. And his strength left him. She said, man, a wicked, but woman, a Delilah. Delilah. She said, man, a wicked, but woman, a Delilah. Delilah. <laughs> 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 Why are you easy at all, you know, boy? <laughs> nice, sir. All right, Dufia. Yeah. Yeah. He turned round and do this to me. Yeah. Nice. I never meant to hurt her, you know. Mm. She accidentally run down my fist. Mm. You know, stars? Jesus! Yeah, me oh, see God. I Poor thing. I'm sorry for the black eye. You should oh. man. Jesus. I never once raised my hand to her, you know. Mm. Mm. But I just couldn't believe. Mm. Man like me, a That's man like you, like you. <laughs> a man like me, she want to see. If... <laughs> Not that bad. I come to treat her like to me at all. To me at all. She should have do me so. Oh. Do it, man. Oh gosh, you shouldn't do it. Look at the good times, eh? The good times, mm -hmm. eh? All the good times. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, long. Man, <laughs> Make me not drink bartender. Make it strong. Too bad, it's too bad. Stay calm with the drinking, man. Take it easy. Take it easy, man. Let the man, let the man drink the juice if I'm thirsty. Hey, yeah, you can go on. Let's, man. <laughs> The man even do me so. Eh. Look for the disgrace where she bring. You know that bad man. And me take up with nothing you know. Nothing? He had our house and wedding ring. How should we take man? Mm -hmm. In a my house. In a mm. my bed. The woman is crazy, bossy. Them wicked, them wicked, them gyal are wicked, them wicked, them wicked. I don't know them so wicked, why them so wicked? But I know say them gyal are wicked, them gyal are wicked, them wicked, them wicked, them gyal are wicked, them. Oh God! We got past and say, death was part. Death? No, never born me so yet, bartender. <laughs> no, no, no! I got to me heart! She broke my heart! What's the matter, man? You're a favorite shot! Then feel your shot, man! What's the matter, man? What's the matter? Yourself. Them take man for one piece of joke. No, um, no, no, no joke here. Why take so long, bartender? Where is rum and cook? Take time with Barry to them. Let me go for it for you, my brethren. There you go, Popsy. Do go sit there. Thank you. Yeah. And drink up. Come wash down and tell me how that one tears. How it feel? It's <laughs> you're strong. All right, we're talking mm. business now. Calm down your nerves, man. Mm. Better move that Coca Cola back from my face, yeah. Back, Cause me come in this place to escape. <laughs> this blasted back, back. Does that remind me of our ship? I 
and you know it's past the fault, you know. Pass. Oh. Na, him advise me for treat woman like tomato. No, brother, I can't do that. But the way them did a go on. How them did a go on? Me never handle her, so. Your fault, this one now, boss, see? <laughs> and your fault, that one. <laughs> I'm going to go to church here, man. Come here, take that disaster. Man. Not that bad. How me even tell congregation, say? Me catch yeah. my wife. With pasta! Pasta! She a Christian, but her last night them catch her in a school love session She a do the dirty dance to the matter and song And I see she get the thing them from the ambition In primetime news this evening. More bloodletting in the Kingston Western Police Division. Five persons have been killed in less than 24 hours. Most are believed to be reprisal killings. St. Catherine North Police are seeking two people in relation to the alleged sexual assault of an eight-year-old girl. This evening, the usually quiet community of Penwood in St. Thomas was rocked by what police are treating as a murder-suicide. A 47-year-old woman was stabbed to death by her ex-boyfriend who later killed himself. The incident has sparked renewed calls for an end to violence against women. Residents of Crooked River in Clarendon are on edge this evening following the gruesome attack in their community in which a woman was chopped to death. Another fatal police shooting has again pitted residents and the police against each other with both sides giving different account of the incident. It unfolded in Old Harbor St. Catherine in what residents contend was a love triangle turned sour. Residents traversing the business district of Portmore St. Catherine made the grim discovery Monday morning sometime after six. Waterford resident and jumps coach at the Calabar High School, 38-year-old Nicholas Newville and 19-year-old Passage Fort resident Rahima Edwards laid dead in an open lot before sunrise. The suspect in the case involving Kenise Jackson is expected to be charged today. There's been public outrage since Ms. Jackson's body was found in bushes near the dark road in Portmore St. Catherine last Friday. The police are probing a double murder in Jonestown St. Andrew Monday night. The two people killed a laborer of Penn Street and a 24-year-old hairdresser. The incident happened sometime before 10 o'clock on Penn Street. Murderer! Blood cloth. Blood. Blood cloth. Bloody cloth. Oh, we end up on this. We path. end up on this. Oh, we end up on this path. 
It's like everybody frees them heart. No, even suffer and that provoke her. Love and harmony are no longer reality. No longer reality. No longer reality. Suppressed memories. Suppressed memories. Vindictive emotion. Suppressed memories. Now speak without the benefit of intellect and rational. Intellect. Rational. Intellect. Issues are no longer settled by a dialogue. Issues are no, no longer settled. <laughs> You know, long more wall you cut out and you can feed your blood to my dog boy. I want to that idiot, girl. I want that she know me take me and blow up for nastiness like this. And girl, don't rock with me. I know blood clot that. Help to me out here. I see me I see your ass face. Just help to me out here. No, girl. No, girl. You could have never seen us. You yeah, tell me some of put on my money right there, so. And you owe me on top, eh? And you have the audacity to take it up. You have to go find him back, you know? Me say you have to go find him back. And you see if you can't find him back. Me just have to take a big spoon and just a ass up here. You hear me, I tell you? Issues are no longer settled via dialogue. Instead, stab. Shut me yet. Another die. Another die. No remorse. No confession. Kill or be killed intuition. The valley of decision pervaded by prolific flowing streams of blood. Blood clot. Blood clot. Blood clot. Blood clot. Murderer! Blood upon your shoulder. Kill right today, you cannot kill right tomorrow. Murder! Oh, we end up with this one. Idle hands. Idle hands. Desperate hearts. Falling down to your mind. Humanity on the first hole of extinction. Nuclear inventions. To destroy nations. Genocide. Who on my side? Side. Blood shed. Too much blood I shed. Now the streets running red. And another you dead. Blood shed. Too much blood I shed. Now the streets running red And another you dead Bloodshed Mother Earth, Lloyd She is a beast if we don't seize this exaggerated feeling of corpse, if we don't seize this exaggerated feeling of corpse, as time warps, what is what mother, mother should regurgitate? One liberation, we are weird. What, what, what if mother, 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 m
Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Did you find a story that moved you? Because these stories are real. Too real. Too real. Real, real. Very real. Very real. Well, I've seen seasons come and go. Some are dark and gloomy, others are bright and blooming. Sunshine is coming again. I hope you see it. Listen. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, we want to say thank you to all the folks who joined us this afternoon for the final showing of this performance, this Zoom theater production, experimental theater that we called Real. Um, what we do, what we've been doing on the last few shows is um, inviting audience members who might be interested to stay back for a brief chat with the director and the company. Um, but before we even get as far as agreeing to um, um, staying back to have this conversation, as is the, has been the ritual for the last couple of sessions, we want to ask all the people who are gathered here right now to please open your microphones and offer this director and company a real live round of applause. 
Open your microphones and clap. R-E-A-L Real Yes, people. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, the, next, the next segment of the ritual, for those of us who will stay, is that we, we unmask the people here, right? So, um, let's introduce you to the director of the production, Doreen Reed, who will open her camera and say hello, and you'll give a round of applause again. I am... <laughs> What's the director? What's the director? What's the director over this What's the director? All right, that's the audience. And um, right, so now let's open up so you can meet the cast. All right, woman one. In the role of woman one, we have. There's woman one, there's woman one, and I see woman one. Nelsa Shea Williams, a year three BFA student, woman two. In the role of woman two, we have Cody and John. Cody! 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 Where's woman three? Amoy, 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 Who's a final year BFA student? And woman five, woman five, we have who's a year three. <laughs> And then we have the men. And then we have the men. We have man one. Man one. Jonathan McLaughlin. Jonathan! 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 We have man two. Man two. Man two. Man two. Man three. We have man three, red man three. No, in man three. All right, and then and then we have some behind the scenes people. We have um, we have holding holding on the role of what used to be stage manager when you're working in live theater. We have Julianne Travers, who's year two BFA. Julianne, if you're here. Beautiful, sweetie. And then we have as the assistant, sound on sound, year two BFA as well, Paige Carty. Yes, yes Paige. Yes. And then we also have managing, coordinating the song for us, or support from multimedia, Kamau Williams, who's also in the house. Big up, <laughs> And then, of course, we have uh, Mr. Leighton Jones, who was our voice coach. And, uh, and, and, and Paul Newman, who worked on choreography. Mr. Right. Jones! All right. Jones. At, the, at this point, what we want to do which what we have been doing is opening opening up the microphones and the floor, as it were, for you 
who are here as audience to offer feedback, to ask questions, because you, you have just received an entire production around 45 minutes inside of Zoom. And there must be something bubbling. So this is your chance. The microphone is open. The cast and crew are here. The director is here. So it's your turn. Your turn to feedback. All right? This is your chance. Well, let me kick off by saying excellent job, guys. Um, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the show. Um, absolutely phenomenal work. I am thoroughly impressed by the level of commitment, um, both on the side of the director, um, the visionary behind the show, uh, the, 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 the technical folks, and of course, the actors who were very, very committed to the roles that they played. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the work. And, you know, even when we're past this COVID phase, something tells me that we can't totally abandon the Zoom concept of theater because right now I am miles and miles away from you, but you have brought me close to you. I'm accustomed to driving um, to the School of Drama to see these shows and to know that I can be gripped to my bed <laughs> and be totally immersed, you know, and, and, and to feel the depth of the characters and, and the, their stories coming through a screen, it speaks a lot. And your trendsetters, your trendsetters, and just want to say kudos to you and keep up the good work. I am impressed by the level of support you've given each other and know that you have done well and you have your place in theatre, not just Jamaica in the theatre, but theatre across the world. Um, to Miss Reed, why, you turn up the thing wickedly. <laughs> you know the things I want to say because this is recorded. I will not say it, but you're you going good. Um, up there. Yes, man, I will. Well done. Well done. Well done, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, man, give thanks for that. Anybody else? Any, any other offerings from the, from the audience? All right, I can go, you can hear me? Yeah, man, we can hear you. First of all, I'm a proud bad. Let me just kick it off by saying me, proud bad. All right, um, I find it very interesting that you have struck a phenomenal balance between technology and giving us an authentic theater experience. And I think that that is the thing I enjoyed most about this. Um, it wasn't just screen. It wasn't just playing around with technology. It was still a commitment to giving us the theater experience, which I know is hard. It's hard because theater is family community, people, you know? There's a, there's a kind of energy you get from having a person beside you and being fed from what's on stage. And to convey that energy via screen, it was phenomenal to be a part of it. And I mean, um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Big up on yourself, thank you. Yeah, man, give time, give time, give time. So anything's passing out in the chat, but but the mics are open, you know, guys. You could you could say, you could say. Hello, hello from Barbados. Ras uh, Farrell. I Farrell in the house. I just want to congratulate the cast, yourself, Marvin, and the director. I I was um really um impressed with the work. Um, I'm here, so just lying in my bed, and I'm like, I, I, I was supposed to, to check out this year a couple of days ago, and I realized it's the last day, so I, I committed. Um, uh, so I want to really congratulate you guys. Um, we are on the cusp of, of a new day in terms of, of, of um, what this COVID is doing to us, and um, even here in Barbados, we have been um, doing some stuff online. I don't know how many of you 
witnessed any of the work that we've done so far. Um, and we are in the middle of, of trying to um, develop some work on, on, on um, some of these platforms. So I, I'm really impressed. And um, I think um, we, we need to kind of share that knowledge and the technology is, is um, definitely part of the new frontier. Um, so congrats, man. Um, I, I look forward to more, more offerings. And um, I also look forward to sharing my work with you guys at some point in time. Without question. Um, people, for those of us who don't know, Winston Farrell from Barbados is easily one of the leading regional playwrights and directors of his generation. He's the generation just before me. Um, and it is really a joy yeah, to have yeah, Farrell. Man. Yeah, man. It's really a joy to have you in the audience here to offer the feedback. We yeah, have to say that. Yeah. And it's, I, I and follow, it's a joy for the students to meet you. Too, no? yeah, I man. follow some of the yeah. other stuff that you were doing <clears throat> in the um, earlier earlier presentations. Um, right. Yeah, I mean, this is this is what's happening, and and, and we got to be able to work with it and develop it as we go along. Yeah. 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 Really yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Give thanks and thanks for thanks 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 for tuning in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. You know, I'm always quiet in the background observing. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, when it's time for me to come through, I come through. Uh, and I, I was really, really compelled this evening um, to, to yeah. really congratulate the cast and the director. Yeah. And I don't know, yeah, I don't know if the director might want to to say a little bit about the process, um, right. Right. Um, which would be useful. Um, if 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 any further further um, communication or Contact can be had, you know. I, I am. You can find me. You can find me online easily. Winston Farrell. Um, you can follow me at um, I, I, I Farrell on Instagram uh, and Facebook as well. Um, but it'd be nice to continue these conversations as, as we can probably look at some plays across the region. Um, you know, um, somebody might be interested in doing doing one of the plays online um, in this kind of way. Well, 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 there, well, there, well, well, there are two things here, based on what you, based on where you're going there, Farrell. Two things. One is that we have to allow Miss Reed to open up and talk to the process, which is based on your question. That's one. Mm -hmm. And two, and two, we are conspiring a regional reading for Errol Hill's birthday in August. But I'll, I'll keep you posted on that. Okay. That, that, we, that, we, that, we, that we read one of his plays regionally. I'll keep you posted okay. on it. Okay. Right? Okay. But, 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 let, but let's. Let, let's have Miss Reed yes, I. jump in and talk to the process, right? Have a good one. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I did it. Right. Uh -huh. right. good, after, good afternoon, everyone. Um, you know, Mr. Farrell, you had me a little nervous there a while ago when you started talking about looking at some other plays because my dean is a little crazy. He really gets crazy ideas. Yeah. And so when you started talking, I'm like, oh God, Mr. George is going to get some crazy ideas now. What is Mr. Farrell doing? So you really had me nervous a while ago when you started talking, yeah? But um, to the process, wow. Um, it was a process that started out with a lot of uncertainty, both for myself and for the cast, because the truth is we had no idea where the piece was going to go and what it is that we were going to do. I didn't have any idea where I was going to take the cast, but the cast was so open, they were so willing, they, they were just on a platter, you know, allowed themselves to be taken and led and, and go wherever it is that I was going with them. Uh, but the process was very, you know, experimental. It was extremely collaborative. Um, the ideas came from just our general rehearsals, conversations, mulling over the script, working through the various um, poetic pieces, you know, determining intentions, et cetera, and what it is that we wanted out of it. But it was really challenging in attempting to lift the, uh, the actual real theater and how is it that we get it within this virtual space, given that we were not necessarily working with a common set, we didn't have the, the elements of lights, you know, to give us the special effects that we wanted. And so you had to dig deep and start to think outside of the box. But that's what theater is supposed to allow us to do, to think outside of the box. And that's what the process really was about for us, how it is that the actors within their own personal spaces could utilize what was around them and within their reach, and also what was logical 
because given the fact that they were playing so many different roles, apart from being just the, um, the actor, you know, they had to be their own light and sound person in many instances. So we needed to be logical in terms of the things that we were doing. And so they would have um, contributed to the process. So I would give them something to do. They would bring something to the process. They made suggestions um, to each other about what it is that they all do in their own spaces and what worked for them in transitioning, um, navigating the platform, so it was really a learning experience. Each afternoon at rehearsal, we really would just try something and see if it worked. If it didn't work, we just go back and some, we, we just do research, um, conversations with other persons who would have used the platform. For example, Arts in Action in Trinidad, I had a conversation with uh, some of the artistic directors in terms of what it is that they would have done. And then I come back and I do my own research as well. I had my Dean on um, and field the rehearsals. My friend Delroy James, who spoke earlier, was on in some of the rehearsals. You know, just brainstorming with the other creatives on the process, uh, Mr. Newman, you know, Mr. Jones. So it was really very collaborative in arriving at where we are. And so each time we just added another element, another, even to the very last minute, we were still adding things. But the cast was very open. I mean, they're really the stars of this entire production because believe me, they rolled with all the punches that you threw at them. Even when the show opened and we started adding things, I just send sometimes a note or I just say to them just before the show starts, okay, Leighton, Jonathan, or whoever it is, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. And they just rolled with the punch. So the process was really very, very, very collaborative. And I think that is why we really ended up with, you know, what we had just now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, very good. Uh -huh. um, the, the, this, this is a live, is a live uh, thing. There's no recorded elements um, added into the production. Um, strictly live, everything happening live in this particular case. It's, it's live. The only things pre-recorded would have been the, the added videos, the, the film elements of the videos. Uh -huh. that see, see, the see, performances see, are see. all live. The students are all at home. They're all in their own spaces. They are none is in the theater. They are all in their rooms or their living room or yes, somewhere, yes, yes, but yes. they're all at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been working through some stuff like that with some young kids presently, and um, it's amazing what you come up with. Thanks again, and, and, and hopefully we chat some more. Certainly. I think, I think um, there is something here, Doreen. And, and Winston, we'll, we'll definitely try to you know, pick up. Do, do, Doreen, you have contacts for Winston? No, sir, but I could, I, I could get it from you, or you could put it in the chat or so. All right. Yeah, man. I'll, I'll, yeah, man, I'll look you up. I'll look you up, right? The, OK, sir. Yeah. What, what, what are we dealing with here? Is, um, is an experiment that is at once um, about our own insistence on making performance and at the same time, potentially, uh -huh, or, or in fact, more than potentially, hopefully, something inspiring for the artists in the community. Um, we have loads of people who have been made um, immobile almost. Uh, for want of a better word, by this whole COVID business. And so part of having this conversation after the show is really also about hearing from the makers, the teachers who have to work with students in theater programs and so on whenever they join us, to be able to, you know, to ask the questions that you're that you asking, Farrell, you know, about process and so on, so that we can all start making sense of the context in which we now find ourselves and uh, and going forward with some confidence, right? Just going forward with some confidence and take some risks. And yeah. some risks that may be based on, you know? I think, yeah, that, that is important. Um, especially for the youths who, who a lot of them more more savvy with the technology as well. Um, right. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really, it's amazing. Like I said, I've been working with some young people and they've been, they've been at least allowing me to see what is possible and uh, now I see this as well you know um what I like a lot too about this evening's production was the the, the element of of music how you use popular music in, in 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 the piece um was really interesting um again I did not I know that there were some visuals that I didn't see I don't know if my phone if I didn't connect but sometimes it was just Outside of visual, it was just the audible. I, I just heard, 
Yeah. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. Was that intentional um, in some cases um, where, where we just, you just wanted the voice instead of a, a visual image? Okay. Um, perhaps it's because you were not seeing because sometimes when you're ah. here and there's no audio, there are other things happening. And that is why at the beginning, we suggest that persons watch in gallery view because what is happening, we try to recreate um, real theater space where even if an, an actor is not speaking, but they are actively doing something in some of the scenes. So ah, you have voices that were off camera, but there were actually actions happening on stage. What so, was happening is that I, I, I logged in on my phone um, mm -hmm. instead of on my laptop. So okay. uh, <laughs> I don't usually... Well, the, phone, the, phone, the phone doesn't allow um, for gallery yes. view to see yes. all of them at once. I think you might be able to see maybe about four persons or so. Uh, yes, yes. So yes. you would not have been, you would have probably missed that, some. My bad, them. my bad on this occasion. But the but, audio, uh, was able but in to terms audio. of the, the use of the pop music, some of the pieces had a built-in musical element. So the piece dictates that yeah. you use music because the genre, the dancehall genre was embedded in some of the pieces. And so I decided to just use dancehall as the engine that drives. But also when you look at the overall concept of what it is that music means for us here within the Caribbean, not just today, but from days of old to now, that is something that continues throughout our existence and what it means in terms of how it heals us, how it tells the stories oh, yeah. that we all have. There's absolutely nothing that can happen in this society that you cannot find it being represented in a dance hall music. And so that became the engine for which we are going, by which I decided that we need to use to drive the overall right. production. Right. Hence, right. You, you, you have brings that. Me back, brings me back, Marvin, to our, our, our course of study in terms of how we use our cultural forms in our work. And of course, the dance hall um, is definitely um, a, a form that is that is part of the spirit of, of, of Jamaica. And now by extension, the Caribbean, you know what I mean? Up to yesterday, I was telling somebody, I mean, what would we do here in Barbados without Jamaica and Jamaican music? <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that music is, is kind of like the lifeblood of, of, you know, of the people. Um, when yeah. it comes to African retention, uh, yeah, yeah, without question, without question. The, 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 the um, I want, I wanna, I wanna pull. I saw somebody have their hand up a while now, but Farrell, uh -huh. I want to pull. Um, House of Landship is the play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. House of Landship. Is, Let's right, talk right, about uh, that. Let's talk about right, that for sure. All right. Um, I, my good friend Michelle has been working with um a group. For sure, I know on this CXC, she's been doing some excellent work with with, yeah. with that group. Um, so yeah, it's something we can talk about. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, man. Yeah, also, so I can run right. a little people chat and uh, we we'll talk um, later. Let's run right. a little bit before we go a little bit more to the conversation. But this right. time, uh, bless us out to everybody yeah, from man. Barbados yeah, man. with love. Yeah, man. Thank you. Blessings, Thank you. blessings. Love, same way. Yeah, man. Natashana, we see your hand up for a while now. Natashana, you there? I, I hope you mean Natasha, but... <laughs> oh, gosh. I swear it's Natashana. I am sorry. I am very sorry. That's, Natasha? That's fine. I'm, sorry. I, I, I'm wearing a mask and it slipped and my mouth slipped. Sorry about that. Sure, Go definitely. Ahead. Your fingers and your mouth are connected. It's okay. Hey, no, it's, it's, it's okay. The mask. It's the mask. Yes. It's the mask. Blame it on the mask. That's fine. Go ahead, Natasha. I just wanted to add my own congratulations. I think you guys did an amazing job during I am I, I've been a fan, so you know I'm I always have your back. Um, yeah, it it was it was thought provoking, it was provocative, it was inspiring, and I particularly liked the fact that you were able to even when the conversation around theater because of the environment we're in has lulled, you were able to still take it to us. So it is not in fact, even though there is a lull, it is, it, it's not in fact dead. And I really appreciate that, appreciate that you braved the odds and presented it, presented it to us in this way. I'm curious, Doreen, um, there are myriads of things that are happening that call for artistic attention, that 
called to be articulated through our pens, your pens and the stage. And you chose three, not three, sorry, five, I believe. Very distinct stories that, that are linked thematically, yes. So I'm curious to know, how did you go about choosing the specific stories that you did? Funnily, thanks, Natasha, randomly. Honestly, it was just random. Um, that first piece that they did at Auntie's funeral, I've always been in love with that piece. I've been in love with that piece from the first time I heard it when Mr. Ellis had his book launch. And I, I'm just, oh, I was just fascinated with how he wrote it, how he was able to, to capture the image of his, of his aunt. But in reading it each time, I could always see that child who, who was also experiencing some of those things. So I've always been fascinated with it. So when I made the decision that I was going to do a collage of poetry, that was one of the first ones that jumped out at me. Um, in narrowing down the others, I also made it clear I wanted to do works of either current um, lecturers at Edna Manley or past students of Edna Manley. And so I just jumped to Omar's work because I've also been very fascinated. Oh, well, you know, I'm fascinated with Omar's writing um, and, his, and, his, and the way he uses lyrics. So I just jumped into his book and I just started going through, through them. And I just kind of picked out pieces that resonated with me. And I was just talking and Tesfa said, you know, but Doreen, I have some poems. You could get one of mine. I said, well, send me what you have. And he sent me three and I just picked one, you know, because I really like what Blood Cloth was saying. Um, I liked the play on words. And so because of how I was trying to really go into the bowels of Jamaica, I just really thought that was a, a useful one. And so when I actually sat with them and look at them, I realized that thematically all of these were connected. And so that's how they actually became the, the real that I decided to use for the production. Awesome, awesome, but good job, good job, guys. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, thanks much, Natasha. Anybody uh, else, anybody else? Mr. George, there's, a, there's an awesome person in the chat that I want to put on the spot. I haven't heard oh, this, this, I haven't heard from this voice creatively in a long time. All right, go ahead, go ahead. I think, and I think Dr. Johnson is in the is is is, is in um is on the is is in the Zoom, and I really would like to hear from her. Yes, she is. Wow. <laughs> Dr. Uh, J. I, I was hoping to just stay incognito. No, no, I, I, no. I, 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 I just messaged her privately, hoping that you know. But I glad I glad you called her out. I know, I know, Doreen. I <laughs> I'm always, I'm always afraid of, of appearing because of those types of things. <laughs> but I but I think my questions, what I had, uh, what I was thinking about were answered by, by you, by questions that were posited by others. But before I even do that, I really want to say congratulations to Team Real because I am sure this this experience, even though it came off so wonderfully for us and such an artistic, uh, uh, of artistic excellence, in my opinion, the process must have been something that was a little bit scary, but at the same time, you possibly were in awe with where you would have taken yourselves in terms of, as somebody mentioned before, Theater is really about the human spirit and feeding from each other. And when you're able to do that somewhere else and still bring it across, for me, that says a lot for your, your schooling, your education. I have to big up the EMCVP or DREMA uh, in terms of the faculty and the work that they put in uh, to the process that you constantly engage in so that you can come out on this other side, feeling confident and being able to convey such a, uh, such of a, uh, convey our stories. Cause right now persons are in various types of emotional mindset because of all the violence, of all the killing of what is real in the world right now. And for us to be able to experience it and say, wow, look at that. Or this is what our news is like. And it's all over the world, all over. So thank you for that and congratulations for bringing that forward 
uh, so that we can reflect on it positively as well in terms of our role as artists, our role as young people, our role as the next generation to deal with it. So thanks for doing that. And I am proud of all the persons, uh, those who have graduated, they won't call any names, and those who are still in the process uh, for being able to do that. And Doreen, I'm always pleased with your work because you are quite insightful and you're able to bring forward uh, or treat these current situations uh, in such a deliberate way for us to rethink who we are as human beings. So thank you for that. So I'm really impressed with the, the work. And as I said, many of the questions were answered. I wanted to know your process, Doreen, in terms of even choosing your cast, because uh, that would have been, you know, students who are risk takers or graduates who are risk takers. You know, how did you choose the persons that you ended up with within your process, this process? And, but uh, also the fact that uh, how you chose the pieces that you did to bring them together under the theme of real. So you have answered all of that. So I was able to stay quiet, hoping that I would walk away from this process going, wow, I'm proud, as opposed to having a conversation, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that it is what it is, yes? And uh, Leighton Jones, I see that he's trying to be a part of the school of drama. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't say that. laughs> so, Mr. Jones, uh, I'm not quite sure where you belong. School of music, school of drama, school of continuing education and allied programs, school of dance. I'm watching you, Leighton Jones. But uh, <laughs> very good work, very good work, very impressive work. Uh, we are out there with the best of them as an institution and as actors and uh, as artists. So I am extremely proud. I'm always associated with the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts, still the first and only. And so D-R-A-M-A, -A, you have made me proud ever so much again. I've watched most of the productions since I've been on this other side. And I must say, I am truly grateful for the work that you continue to produce. Truly grateful and truly proud. So thank you. Um, if, if I should respond to the question about selecting the cast, I think the cast chose real. Ah. Uh, yes, they actually did. Uh, I think even when the audition was advertised, um, I think maybe only two of the persons on here or maybe two of or three of them um, turned up at the audition. And so I just selected them and then the others just popped up and said, oh, Miss, I missed the audition. I said, okay, sure. Some of them just signed in on the day when I sent out the link for rehearsal and just decided to come and then I just decided to work with everybody. And we just became who we were, you know? Right. And this became the cast. So the cast actually chose real, but then they didn't know it was real. I didn't know what the name of it was. I remember in one rehearsal, one of them said, Miss, what's the name of the show? And I said, I don't know. <laughs> no, and so we all laughed at it, but as I continued and we continue rehearsing, I realized that this is what the name of the piece is. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent work. Thank you. Yes, yeah. thanks Dr. DJ for at once the continued support and the feedback, right? Dr. DJ has been to every one of these shows that we've done this yes. semester. Yes. In these in this in these in this um new experimental mode. Right? Everyone. Some of them perhaps twice. You know? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Anybody else here with hard questions for this cat? For the... Nobody have any hard questions for the actor? I mean there must be a difficult question to ask an actor. Uh... <laughs> There's a, there's, a, there's a question in the chat. What was the name of the poems used in this production? And what were some of the challenges producing this piece? Yeah. Uh, the poems, first one was um, At Auntie's Funeral, written by Owen Blacker Ellis. The second one with all the fancy lights and you know dancing, etc. that was called Get a Love, was written by Omar Maja Bless Wright. The third piece was um, Jamming. That's the one with the Rastafarian driven um, concept. That was called That's Jamming, written by Omar Majabless Wright. 
The other fourth one was treat women as tomato, like tomato, also written by Omar and Maja Bless, right? That's the one with the gentleman. And the last one was called Blood Cloth, right? Written by Tespa Edwards. Uh, the, challenge, the challenges were, were many, but they, um, but they were not surmountable. Um, we, we looked at trying to lift live theater and put it in a virtual space. Um, how it is that we are able to connect with each other and to try to, to capture that intimacy that usually exists among cast members and also the interaction and the feeding of the energy from the audience to um, the actors as well. We had that kind of challenge working with, but we, we found ways to make it work. How it is that we were going to work through each piece to communicate intent and not be slave to the poetic rhythm, so to speak, of the, of the poetry how we were going to merge a technical, but I think one of the major issues we also had to navigate was dealing with all the issues that came with being on the internet and working on the internet. This is the, the latencies, you know, persons losing connection because we had absolutely no control over those things. And so that was a real challenge for all of us. But we tried to find different ways because in the theater, in the live theater, one of the things you always do is anticipate what could go wrong and the cast try to prepare themselves and together as a team, they try to fix it with everybody backstage. On Zoom, nobody's backstage, they're the only ones, but we still try to anticipate what may happen and so they try to prepare themselves. What was really good about this process was how it is that the cast work as a team despite being very miles away away from each other and were able to support each other and making sure that whatever it is that they did throughout the process that process and during the show, they were able to have each other's back. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's done, it's done. Anybody else in here? Any questions? It's quiet, but... All right. Well, let it not be completely quiet. I, I'd love to hear from the the, the, the cast. Um, mm -hmm. Perhaps at some point in time, you'll get a chance to watch the recording to see what it is that we saw. Uh, it was very fascinating for me looking at the, 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 the chat during the show. Sometimes I actually got annoyed because I didn't want to miss anything at all. But if you guys are able to look at the chat, go ahead and read it. But for you as the cast, um, how are you feeling about what it is that you have presented? Um, as Ms. Reed uh, um, indicated, you don't have that live audience in front of you to give you a sort of energy to you know, suggest whether or not they're appreciative of whatever you've done in a particular moment or so forth. Um, so how are you feeling about what it is that you have presented individually and as an ensemble? Um, Hi. Uh, Can I turn you on? Ready, ready to go for a gentleman. Can I hear you? Yeah, yeah, we're hearing you. All right, so for me, having the knowledge that um, we don't have like a face-to-face -face audience or whatever. I think what drove me to like deliver, knowing that, is the energy and the synergy that I receive from my fellow cast Because sometimes, even during the play, I'm like, um, what if they might enjoy the show and then one other chat would have keep coming, but I had to keep focused because no, I am not on stage to say to our, it's not within our studio where we have backstage, we can go on there and say, all right then, um, Jonathan, you did this or woman one, man one, whatever. I had to be focused on my fellow cast I had to be listening, like I have to be very, very mindful of them only. So I couldn't even focus on the chat. Even as I started coming in, I was like, if I screw up, if I miss a few, I may cause a delay in our production. So that was it for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Um, how I feel about this personally, terrified, but I'm curious. Curious in the fact to see how me and my castmates put together this piece and how we we try to to meet each other halfway. You know, because as an ensemble, we had to to know each other's lines. We had to you know understand that persons are having connectivity issues and we have to realize how oh, can we work around that for, uh, for me i have to say that this is the first i thought being on stage i felt the, the the intimacy between the actor and the character but working on this piece is the first i've ever felt that true connection to the actor and the character because i have to have this this consciousness of the of the actor you know, to know that my camera needs to fix here. You know, my lights need to change, my costume, you know. I had to have that, that strong connection with the camera and the actor working with the camera. And then I had to get in that frame of mind of the character when the camera comes on. You know, I say it all boils down to trust. In this platform, it all boils down to trust. You know, we had to trust each other with each piece. Trust each other to know that, hey, if this happened... Manose Leighton can catch me back. If this happened, Manose Jody can catch me back. You know, it's, it's, it, it boils down to that when it comes down to the Zoom platform. Anybody else? Any, any, any one of the other company members? Yeah, I, I just want to add to what Jonathan said in terms of the process. Uh, I remember the director, Miss Reed, saying to us, we are to listen to, to each other. And, and, and I think Jonathan alluded to that when he said that when he would fall out, you know, somebody would pick him up. So what Miss Reed always tried to tell us to do is to listen. So the moment we hear like a long pause, quote unquote, we know that we need to jump in because there is a technical issue with that, that person who's presenting. So we're always to listen to each other and we need to know all the pieces and all the lines. Um, working with the pieces, however, for me personally, I had to suspend my feeling as Leighton. And because I was presenting these emotional and, and thought-provoking pieces, I had to, to take on role of actor. So suspend my feeling of hurt and bloodshed and seeing those images being um, displayed on screen. I had to suspend all of that to try and become actor, to present what was asked of me. Yeah. To add to what Leighton and Jonathan said, for the lines, especially like as the ensemble, it, it was that you had to know the lines, but you also had to know the intentions of the lines. Because for instance, you're supposed to know the lines, right? To jump in for everybody. But if you come in and you say the line completely wrong with the wrong intention, then the audience wouldn't get it, right? So it would throw off that entire piece. They'll be like, what should you just say what I mean? So not only knowing the lines, but knowing the intentions of each person's lines. Um, for me personally, I believe that I, I had to take away myself. I had to be the character always. I also had to do every single thing. I can't emphasize this enough. I've implored uh, materials that I've learned from dancehall classes, from lighting class, from the only thing leave out is maths. Honestly, I've every single class that I've learned, that I've did since first year to fourth year, I've actually used in this production. And it taught me, you know, if I'm able to use all of these things to create a space and make that my theater and portray it to the audience with the right intention, that's excellence. That's how I felt personally. Give thanks, guys. Give thanks for the feedback there. And uh, and congratulations to the company, again, for the work that you've put in on this production, yeah? Um, 
do we do we do we have any more questions from the from the cast? How were you able to manage? Okay, okay, okay. I think I think that might have been answered in the student feedback. About it. there's a question here from Dr. DJ about managing or maneuvering the camera while performing. But I think some of that came out in the in the student feedback just now, yes? Yeah. yeah, it was responded. Yeah, he responded. Right, 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 right. Anybody else? Anybody else in the chat with with a, with a with a question or or or, or feedback? Yeah. All right. This 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 production is the last of the student productions that we'll do for this semester. It is the third of three experiments, and, and I'm just framing as we're wrapping it up. It's the third of three experiments. The first experiment is working in the theater with the company of actors, but blocking the play with physical distancing at the back of your mind. It's an exercise in distancing in the same space. The second production, and, and of course, sorry, and of course, not having a live audience and broadcasting via Zoom. The second experiment is what we called audio drama, rather than radio drama, because it's using the radio drama principle, but not necessarily broadcasting via radio. So we said audio drama, understanding as well that we could broadcast um, a performance that could be listened to on other platforms. YouTube, and potentially, if you want to use the recording otherwise, on like podcasts and so on, you know, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, you could go there as well because it's recorded. For that one, we turned a studio in which we train bodies and voices to work in theater into what could potentially be used as a recording studio, right? By, make, by doing some stuff on the walls to deal with sound, I mean, right? and broadcast that with the actors again physically distanced because they're all performing in their mic in the space and and we and we and we're playing it live because the because the, the ethos of theater is that it is live and ephemeral so that instead of recording it for broadcast we said the actors must come in studio and feel each other working physically distanced and working with their voices only but working through embodiment so they're putting costumes on even though nobody is seeing them right and presenting the work and the third phase of the experiment is the other end of the spectrum where the actors will not gather in the same space but will do just as everybody has been doing since march of 2020 gather wherever they are and transmit performance to whoever will join them in the meeting You're there, Mr. George? We're not hearing anything. Seem as if you speak, Mr. George? Yeah, I think I think I went blank there for a little bit. Right. Yes, we weren't hearing anything at all. Yeah, man, that, that, that's part of the excitement of, um, of the time. <laughs> right? but, but, but essentially in, frame, in framing what we've done the point is that the work of the artist is to confront her time confront your context and decide how given what you're confronted with how you're going to create because that, that's what artists are around for we, we believe we're closest to God because we believe in creating the work is spirit work it always is spirit work there's never anything else we believe in the act of creating. We believe in creativity, which I think you might have heard us say before, Cass, but it has to be said again so that 
until we can make sense of what that means. We believe in creativity, which is to make a mess. Creativity is to risk in search of beauty and to make a mess. And art is when you finish making the mistakes, realizing what is beautiful and organizing it for yourself and for the community. And we have to give thanks to this director and this cast for the courage of taking the risk and for attempting to make beauty in spite of the context within which we find ourselves. Give thanks, Doreen. Give thanks to the company. And thank you to the audiences who joined us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're working stronger into the next semester. For those of us who are here, join us for independent study productions in June, which is our next experiment again. We'll talk about that soon. And we'll see you soon. All right, Dorian, the last words are yours. Uh, I just want to say thank you all so much for coming and sharing with us in this moment. Um, we are truly honored to have you. It's, it's midday on a Saturday and you're here. And so that counts for something. We don't take that for granted. So I hope the offering, it is something that um, will allow you to walk away thinking about what we do here at Edna Manley College, what it is that the students do, but also just for you to think about who you are as a human being and as a person. But I cannot close out without extending my heartfelt thank you to the, to the cast. Like I say to you, they have been the star of this entire process. Um, the openness, the commitment, just the level of dedication that they've shown to the overall process and just being so open to absorbing and pouring into each other, pouring into themselves and pouring into me. I'm forever grateful to them because this would not have been a success had they not been bold enough to take on all the things that they took on, the turning on and off of camera, becoming their own lighting persons, just becoming a full theater individual by themselves, taking on those roles. I'm truly, truly impressed. And I just want to tell you guys, thank you. Uh, you all have a great future ahead of you. This is just the beginning of many other experimentation and, and work that you can do. And for your own self, some of you have independent study coming up. Tony, all the best with that when it comes. This is a good I appreciate it. for you to start from. And there's something that you can take and I'm sure that you can use and maximize in your independent study show. For the rest of you, your acting exams are coming up and all the other practical examinations that you have. Uh, there is something that is in this again for you. Put your foot forward, one foot, two foot, diving, jumping in the same way you dived into this piece of work. Thank you so much, Mr. George, for entrusting us with this project. We are truly grateful and we are truly appreciative for everyone for their feedback. Thank you all so much.